Check this out. I've got it on sea surface temperature anomalies. And with the light blue is colder than the dark blue. And the yellow is warmer than the red. Okay, now what I'm looking at is the discrepancy between the light blues and the yellows to whites. It's just uh, something I noticed right away. And I'm also noticing this rounded kind of ring of abnormally warm waters. Now red is not too far above normal. So it's not exorbitantly warm, but I mean, it's, it's different. It's in a circular pattern. All right, just to give you an idea where that's at. There's that island right there. There's that island right there. Now what I'm gonna zoom in on is, I'm gonna talk about the seamounts here. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a, the East Indian Ridge, the Central Indian Ridge, and the Western Indian Ridge that bounds the Ant Antarctic Plate. I'm gonna zoom in here. What I found unusual was the distance between this extremely cold patch which apparently is 10 degrees Fahrenheit below average, close close to 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit above average. It's not too many miles apart. I'm thinking this is upwelling, but what's causing this upwelling? Well, that happens normally. Here's another little patch over here that you've got this extremely cold temperature. It's 8.3, 8.2, 7, like 8.3. Three was a cool, okay, 7.9 Fahrenheit below the average temperature, and a couple miles away it is 10 degrees Fahrenheit above. Now it doesn't matter what the temperatures are, I'm just saying they're above the average. Okay, so now I'm thinking this is upwelling, and I'm thinking these are related to seamounts possibly. So I did a quick search for the seamounts, and I found out there's the southwest and central and southeast Indian Ridge, but my search was this seamounts backslash southwest and southeast Indian Ridge. This is what I came up with, just for visual purposes. We got this uh, this ridge here that's not a circle, not like this circle, but it's a circle nonetheless. And to identify the seamounts in that area, I kind of went to this page. And it gives you some names of the seamounts and, and this and that. But um, there's something else I wanted to show you. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so there's big discrepancies. I think there's upwelling going on here. And I can't really tie these to the, to the, uh, to the ridges I'm talking about. But here's another patch of light blue, very cold water. I'm going to show you. Up here next to Greenland, this is a little island. And look, this... I think there's a seamount here, but I'm going to show you. This temperature here is 3.7, okay, 6.6 .6 below Fahrenheit, below average 6.6, 6.2, 6.6, 6.1, and not too many miles away, it's 23.5 degrees Fahrenheit above the average temperature it is this time of year, 22. Well, there's a seamount right there, okay, but I'm going to show you. We're right in this area here. It's in the Greenland Sea. There's a Svalbard Island there, and what we got over there is what they call the Litvin Seamount. Now apparently, oh, Litvin's going off, or, or erupting, or, or sending off heat. Okay, so let's see where we at. So I was looking into that one, and apparently there's another Seamount over here. I haven't identified it yet, but these temperatures are 8.4 degrees, oh no, 14.6 above the average, and then it goes down to 2.3 above the average, 2.2. So right here is isolated. You can see that. And then uh, I'm going to give you all these links. And here's something else I wanted to show you. There's a spot here in Finland, okay? And this is a volcanic, this is a volcanic region. It's, it's a lot of volcanism in the past. Now, these are lakes in Finland. Now, this particular location I'm at is 12.9 degrees Celsius above average. It's 23.2 degrees Fahrenheit above the average. Now these are colder than average lakes. Maybe one or two degrees warmer. A little bit warmer than the average. But this white, these are all lakes in here. Now, give you an idea where that's at. Well, you know where Finland's at. But I'm going to give you these links. This was, I was trying to do some research on the average lake temperatures and the current lake temperatures of Finland. So there's a link there to look at. 
Uh, there's another one showing. There's a there's a current. I, I found a link to a current lake temperature up in here, but I, I am not sure if that's going to help us. And I'm also give you this link. This will give you more choices to look for current lake temperatures in Finland. So I mean, we got this. Uh, I'm thinking upwelling next to possibly seamounts that are emitting heat. I'm, I'm guessing this is probably for sure a seamount, and maybe the upwelling is caused by these seamounts uh, giving off heat. I don't know. But then we got this. Uh, okay, then we got these heat anomalies up here, right next to more upwelling. Very hot, next to very very cold. Very hot, next to a little bit more warmer than normal. And then we got this Finland thing going on. Okay, now I don't know if I helped you out at all, but I just think it's kind of curious because these light blue patches next to white that's bounded by yellow is different than light blue patches bounded by blue. You follow what I'm trying to say? I know I'm confusing. I'm having a hard time focusing. Um, yeah, see, this isn't really too abnormal to me here, but, but this... Uh, this ring, you see that ring? I'm gonna take you back over here. Look. In my mind, I'm kind of trying, almost putting 